Hi guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going over to Brewery Case and this is a look at the Hazy Sunrise New England style IPA and this is clocking in at 7.1% ABB just out of chilli so I'm paranoid I've got little bits in between my teeth but I haven't, it's fine Crisis averted so yeah, this is from the Netherlands box from Beer 52. It's been a corker of a box up to this point. So let's see what we get. Oh, we can smell it straight out of the can. So here we go. I'm not going to I've been drinking a consid considerable amount of lager uh, recently. Because I've been having uh, a few friends over. Hey ho, look at that. Now I've not seen a murky dark New England IPA like that. It almost looks like toffee. I don't know why it reminds me of toffee, it just does, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, almost like muddy water. It's like you've put maybe a little bit too much um, granules in your chicken gravy, but is that ever a bad thing? I don't think so. But yeah, it's looking nice. <coughs> We've just shy. <coughs> of the finger's worth of white head which is slightly sort of tinged from the actual beer itself so let's see what we get on the nose mm, yeah it's got a real sort of dankness to it a little bit of like a like a bruised melon or pineapple there's a bit of grapefruit coming through very slight sort of mango chutney aroma, but it doesn't stray off too much into that tropical side of things. Slight oniony garlicky dankness to it. It's a little bit of like a slight caramel aroma coming through as well. It smells good though. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Cheers folks. It's a very dank New England style IPA. It's got a little bit of resin, 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 resin That's not a word. A resin-like character to it. Even like a subtle hint of pine. Yeah, this is interesting. I mean, you could look at it and think, is that oxidised? I don't think it is, because there's no like off flavours. It's just, for once, it's like rarely sweet and in your face, and do you know what I mean? It's just rarely quite nice. It's not as flavoursome as the nose would lead you to believe. That's the one thing I would say. I don't know, could it be oxidised? I'm not too sure. It's got a perfectly fine body to it. Medium mouthfeel. Gentle carbonation. There's no like off flavours or uh, unpleasant aftertastes. It's got a nice sort of like cakey sweetness almost. So part of me thinks there might be a slight sort of conditioning issue with the can itself but yeah it's like fruity toffee but I like it I like that dank onion the garlicky character there's a very subtle grapefruit like piffiness there as well bitterness medium bitterness I would say but it's almost like consistent throughout the whole drinking experience And it sort of reminds me <coughs> of like two, three, four, however long it, it was when breweries in Europe really started to adapt to this sort of style. 
it reminds me of that. It always reminds me of when I first had um, Amazing Haze by Stig the Goods. I know that's how you say it. I, I do apologise. That's what this is reminding me of as well. But something in the back of my mind is saying there might be something <laughs> slightly amiss with this one. But the beer's not <clears throat> suffering too much. No hint of that ABV either. It's like this slight creme brulee character. But then you get like that dank oniony garlicky flavour, a little bit of a piney resin. There's a little hint of citrus. Yeah, it's, it's an intriguing one. That's for damn sure. So in terms of a rating then, um, I think this is going to get a 7 out of 10. Um, it's not what you would actually really expect from a New England style IPA. Especially in its appearance. And it's not like really overly hoppy either. Um, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's an odd one. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I think there might be something slightly wrong with the beer itself. But it's an interesting drinking experience nonetheless. <coughs> I already had um, the Mosaic IPA that was in the box as well, which was really nice. Um, don't know why I brought that up. I didn't review it, so you never go see that review. Um, but yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, so let me know what you guys got from it. Um, is there a problem with the can? I don't know. There might well be. Uh, I've had such small experience with a bad can of beer that I don't know. It's just got no familiar sort of like offness to it, if that makes sense. But I like it anyway. So if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. What's some of your favourite beers from the brewery? Go check them out. Web shop and all that sort of stuff is down below. And uh, yeah, go check out Beer 52 as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.